Hey everyone, Judith Wilson here and I'm back. Thank you so much for all your care and your remedies that you were sending when I had such a raw throat last week. I had pushed it, I had done too much, I was having too many calls, doing too much training and I could tell I was just pushing my throat when it needed to rest. But I had things scheduled and I pushed on, which I don't know, I'm naughty that way. But thank you so much for all of your care and messages. It was very cool and I did so many of your natural remedies. Gorgeous, thank you. And Manuka honey seems to be amazing. It worked a treat to really soothe it. So uh, we had a good day yesterday because we got in $31,000 worth of bookings in just yesterday alone. And that's great for us because it shows that the market really has turned a corner in that when COVID first happened and everyone was first, you know, advised to work from home and things like that, business kind of went into a freeze and we had some training put on hold. We had some training canceled and everyone went into stop. We don't know what's going on. Don't do anything. Freeze. And then as weeks went on, some of the more kind of forward thinking organizations went, okay, cool, we're working from home. Let's start getting business as normal if we can. And so they either rescheduled the courses that they had with us and new companies came in and said, this is fantastic. We can do virtual training. Let's do that. And so we've always had it ticking over that there's been business and virtual training happening. But yesterday was the first day that 31 grand came in in bookings, which shows us, hey, this is heading back right to where we were before COVID in that it's heading in the right direction for that much to be coming in in a day means that business is really serious about worldwide saying, hey, let's do this. Now, I do understand that from state to state, regulations are still different. In some places you can do live training, in some places you can't, in some places they're worried that lockdown is going to be extended even further, whereas in others they've hardly had any stop and live training has been allowed in groups of 10 or 12 for ages. So I thought it'd be useful for you if I ran through the, 20, the 31 grand and told you just where it's coming from so that you can see what some of the trends are for our organization. Now remember, we are big and offer a lot of soft skills programs. We have specialists in each of the different areas. And so you're gonna hear different soft skills that we market and of course that they come in for. So the one that I was really excited about is a pilot for customer service because they want to do 19 days rollout of customer service training. It's a home builder and I suggested doing a pilot because then they can test it. They can see if they like it. They can see if they want to change the content. So I always recommend suggesting a pilot when it's a big thing like that because it takes the pressure off them and they think, wow, you're so confident that you're, you're good, but you're also willing to tweak it after the, after the pilot. So that was, the, the, that was a one day that we got in. Then we got four days of negotiation skills training with a company that's like an association that offers these to their members and their members can sign up. So they wanted to offer four different dates for the members to choose from. So that is pretty cool. Then a university we do quite a bit with, with their PhD students, booked another course on communication, which is great. And then we got sign off on a 90 minute um, time management with personal effectiveness, key tips, virtual training, a 90 minute session for this company that is a not for profit. They've got 30 people in the organization and they want to really brush up on time management. What should we be doing as we come back to the office? How should we do that? And then the training that I actually did yesterday, I'm not sure if this counts or is extra because they paid us 
seven days in advance. So they paid us a week ago and I delivered yesterday one of the two half days in professional presentation skills. And that was live in Sydney. I went into the city and did that for them. So that's not counted in my 31 grand day because I got paid last week for it, but I actually did the training yesterday. So we tend to count it in the month that it actually comes into and yesterday was just a really fun day you know one of those good days where you've been doing your marketing you've been putting stuff out there and showing what we do and then people all of a sudden just go ding 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 this is what we want and it leads to a really great day like that so I wanted to share some of the trends what's coming in what they're actually booking and to show you that it's a mixture of virtual and live training that they're doing so keep your thinking caps on keep thinking how you can amend what you are doing i'd love to hear your comments below let me know what you've been delivering has it been live has it been virtual what topics has it been on and have you had some great days that you also want to share with us okay everyone good chatting bye